Hello, America. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the show. You know what, I was talking to you that whole time and my mic wasn't on, so we're going to wait a minute. What I was saying is I'll be done with spring training soon. And, uh... <laughs> Whatever I was saying, we're starting the next game here, and I'll see you later. I talked up a storm, and I wasn't even there. See you later, bye. Yanni Chirinos, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Pitch on the way. Ozzie Albies is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1 and 0. First pitch, 105. Pitch on the way. 1 0 pitch is a sinker swung on and missed 1 and 1. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Ready with the one and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. That's what you want your leadoff hitter to do every time. He wastes a lot of pitches, makes the pitcher work, then to cap it off, he drives one for a double. That might be one of the best at-bats we'll see all game long.
Here's Nick Markakis now, the right fielder. Swing and a line drive. That's in there. Base hit. He'll come home with it. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Batting third. The first baseman, number five. Freddie Freeman. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. This is pulled into right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Markakis rounds the corner and is headed home. The relay throw, and he will make it back in there. He's safe at third. He just scorched that ball off the wall, and now the question will be, should he have continued on or not? He thought about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Here's Marcelo Zuna. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. And he is lucky to be able to scamper back to third as he's in safely. Digging in now, Travis Darno. Darno. From the stretch. Fly ball out to right field. Meadows moving back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Two left for Atlanta. Now it's the Rays turn. No score. Did you see how I screwed that up? Mike Soroka, the right-hander from Canada, will be the starting pitcher. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has really good stuff. I mean, he's commanding his off-speed pitches like he was in his last one. He threw the ball really well, picking up the win and allowing only two runs. If he brings that stuff back in this one, it could be back-to-back -back powerhouse performances. And he'll fight this one foul off to the left as the count goes to 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Freeman is there. Makes the play one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Yandy Diaz. First pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Albies ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in, Randy Rosarena. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. A Rosarena brings a ton of pop to the plate with him, particularly against right handed pitching. Some guys don't drive the ball as well when facing a pitcher who throws from the same side that they swing the bat, but that's certainly not the case here. Yeah, this guy just absolutely hammers right-handed pitching. You know, some guys like the ball in, coming towards them, and that's exactly what the righty-on-righty -righty matchup presents itself. A two-seamer in, a four-seamer that leaks out over the plate, a hanging breaking ball. This guy seems to absolutely hammer those. Two and two. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. The 2-2 one more time. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Down in order go the Rays. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. The center field of the 13th. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Yeah. 
is swung on and driven out to right center field a ball that's well hit Meadows moving back but he can't get it as it's off the wall and he will coast into second with a leadoff double man at bats like this make every hitting coach happy this is what they all preach stay inside the ball stay behind the ball you can see he lets this one travel deep then just inside outs this thing off the right center field wall that's some rare power there and a little bit scary to opposing pitchers good chance he's not seeing that pitch again if he does it's got to be bounced but I'll tell you from a pitcher's perspective that's nothing but a long strike on its way the 0 2 pitch swung on but it's pulled foul wide of third the Cunha stands at second with no outs line but speared on a hop and there's one down now so a runner at third here with one gun and up next former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall From the stretch, here's the pitch. Aye. No score here as we play inning number two. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that, that strikeout. Enough. It's so the much tougher team. to score a guy from third oh, with two man. outs instead of one. Wild. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Austin Riley is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. and oh. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. A play at the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Into the box, Brandon Lau. And he set to lead off the away. home half of the second. second Infield Number shifted eight. well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And a sinker misses here. No, a called strike. I take that back. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there, but he's able to jump ahead and get away with it. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball, that pitch is out. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Lifted in the air out to right. The Cunha is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the That's inning. The right so the bases are empty with one man gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Meadows, just 24 years of age, he's in his third season as a major league player. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Markakis on the warning track. He makes the catch. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that brings up the corner infielder G-Man Choi. First offering on its way. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Off the plate and in. Hits a ball and a strike. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Rays go. 
at the plate Austin Riley and he'll start out their half of the third top of the order to follow. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there one and oh. Two and oh now. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. Now the 2 0 home. A shot down the first baseline, but this will get foul 2 and 1. Here it comes. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at bat. The 2 2 one more time it is a slider that gets him to chase for a strike. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So not the start to the inning he was looking for as he got the strikeout, but the runner reaches anyway. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ozzie Albies. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. A runner at first with no outs here. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Nick Markakis digging in now. A bullet to first base. The tag will get him coming back to first. It's a double play, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in, Willie Adamas, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Stepping in, Brian O'Grady. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now a pitch on the way. O'Grady. A native Pennsylvanian, he was an eighth-round selection during the 2014 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. We'll head to the fourth. Still. Leading off for Atlanta. The first pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Now the 0-1. Oh 
ball, one strike. This is to right field and deep off the bat of Freeman. Meadows moving back. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. As the Braves get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. Strike one to start the at-bat. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Ah, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 0 and 1. A high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 2. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. This tells me a lot about this guy. He's done a real nice job bouncing back from that home run to strike out the next two guys. Sometimes you're going to get taken deep, but it's all about how you respond that really matters. First pitch of the at bat. Ronald Acuna started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. One. one run, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count, 0-2. Hey, I got to commend him a little bit. Lead off homer, and now he's one pitch away from getting out. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Braves get a run on the Freeman home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 1-0 Atlanta. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer back to the top of the lineup as they're still and looking for their first the base Braves. runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. And Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout, and there's one away. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts on six pitches? He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. At the plate, Randy Rosarena. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. That evens it up one and one. Now the pitch. 
fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Rays go in order one, two, three. It remains one nothing. Now to the plate, Dansby Swanson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Dansby Swanson. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas is short. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now that designated hitter, Adam. Next will be the designated hitter, Adam Duvall. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. A Rosarena is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Ready now, Austin Riley looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He's set and the pitch. Oh, and he hung the slider here, and it's a towering drive out to deep left field. This ball is gone. A home run. Big swing right there. Give himself a little bit of breathing room. Let his pitcher go to work. Now they're up two. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies, as he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two tries for him so far. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One for the Braves in the inning, and it comes courtesy of the long ball. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's now 2 nothing Atlanta. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, man, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. One oh home is swung on and missed in that strike one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. A ball and two strikes. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Grounder down the line at third. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Now a spin and another throw back to second, and he'll get back in safely. Into the box now, Austin Meadows. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Well, he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout, knowing you have this guy way off balance. A little bit off the outside. It's 1 and 2. 
Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The one-two. And it's fouled away. Again, a one-two. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Into the box now, G-Man Choi. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. One one. Pitch swung on and hit on the ground for Freeman over there at first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter, number one. So a man at third here with two gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Men on third with two down. On the ground to third. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. Rays strand just the one. They trail it here two to nothing. Blake Snell takes Your over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Ray. Number four. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Here comes the first pitch. The 1-0. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now battle. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's one for three. Now here's the pitch. Hit in the air to straightaway center. A Rosarena is there now, and he has it to God. The left fielder, number 20, Marcel. Ready once again, Marcelo Zuna. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. And a bouncing ball, foul. Two out, nobody on. Smoked on the ground up the middle, right to him. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So coming to the plate, Brian O'Grady will start things out in there. And leading up for the race, no outfielder, Ryan O'Grady.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is now it fun it. to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Mike Zanino is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Kevin Kiermeyer is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Freeman in foul ground, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Now another 0-2. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They're down two to nothing. Diego Castillo is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 63. Diego. Castillo. Seventh inning ready to roll. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Leading off with the play. The catcher, Travis Darno. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit out towards second. He's right there. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Standing in, Ronald Acuna. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And a slider not close here as he missed with it down and in. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air to center field. A Rosarena is there, two gone. Up next for Atlanta, the shortstop, Dan B. Swanson. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Now a ground ball and a chance for Adamas is short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves, but they're on top 2 to nothing. Manuel Margo is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get some. Number 13. Grant Dayton will come on now and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. Number 75. Grant Dayton. 
Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Fouled away. Now the 0-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Swanson picks it up. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Leadoff single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. Michael Brasso will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Hitting for the Rays. Number 43. Michael Brasso. Now a move over to first. Back in standing. Another look to first, keeping particularly close tabs on him. First pitch is a fastball inside, 1 0. Brasso, a native of Indiana, the Hoosier State. This is his second year as a major leaguer. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1 and 1. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball and two strikes now. Now a throw over. Don't want to forget about him. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. One and oh, the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Runner at first here, one man out. And he lays off it to even the count, two and two. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Taylor Walls will look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. From the belt, the pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And a curveball swung on and missed, and a great call there as the inning is over. One left for Tampa. They trail things here two to nothing. Manuel Margo is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Taylor Walls will stay in the game, taking over in right and batting number nine. Chaz Rome has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Joey Wendell is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Hunter Renfro will also come in now as he takes over out in center. New inning set to get underway. And up next, former San Francisco minor league property Adam Duvall. The designated hitter, Adam Duvall. Your attention, please. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Now playing center field. Number 11, Hunter Renfro. This change for the Rays. Now playing third base. Number 13. Again, another Adam foul ball. Margot. This change for the Rays. Now playing second base. Number 18, Joey Wendell. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander.
tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here now the 2 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Full count now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Oh, that's frustrating right there. He was right on that fastball, took it deep, just couldn't keep it fair. How many times have you seen it? There's a good chance he's punching out right here. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Kevin Padlow has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Number 37. Trying to pick Charlie Culberson. We'll move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Now here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Bases are empty. One man out. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. The batter number one. Digging in to try it again. Ozzie Albies. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. One ball, two strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw to first ends the inning. Nothing across. Charlie Culberson will stay in the game, taking over at third base and batting in that nine spot. Now playing third base. Number eight. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And there's ball one. And he popped him up. Albies ranging into shallow right. He can't get there as it falls in. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Into the box, Willie Adamas, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 
Hit to short. Over to Albies. Back to Freeman. Not in time. And they'll just get the one. And kids, this is why you always go hard into second base. Could have been an easy double play ball, but the slide really impacts the throw to first, and they wind up only getting one out on the play. Good, aggressive, legal slide that time. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. He knows his strengths and weaknesses at the plate. He knows he has a cold zone away, but the bottom line is this pitcher has been able to execute to that spot. If he misses over the heart of the plate, this guy's still going to be ready. The 0-2 once more. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now batting. At the plate, Mike Zanino. No hits to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Grounded to the right. Albies scoops it up. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Ray's strand just the one. They trail it here two to nothing. Shane McClanahan enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. First offering on its way. Nick Markakis stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit and the Braves have a man on. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning here in the ninth. Add-on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, d -Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one-run lead. In there, a base hit. And there's one away. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. The tag, and it's a double play. Number four. So base is empty now after the double play. Duh. Standing in is the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. Hard liner to center field. Oh, what happened? He can't make the play. Obvious pitch recognition right there. OO changeups usually get guys out in front, but he was able to stay back, recognize it, and drive it for a base hit. Here's the catcher, Travis Darnot. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there, and now they're going to need to string some hits together in this. Two left You're for Atlanta. As they're He's unable to the add to their two. Number 22. Number 73 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. And the pitch. Popped up. And this is going to find some real estate out there as he comes through off the bench with extra bases. Throw won't get him. 
That's exactly what they needed. Down by two runs. The leadoff man oh, puts himself in scoring position the with the tying run coming to play. The temptation for the next batter is to swing for the fences and tie it up with one swing. But a base hit brings home a run and keeps momentum on your side. We'll see how he goes about it. It's taken. Now it's 0-2. I got to count 0-2. No one out with a runner at second. Ball hit out to Albies at second base. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting. So striding forward now, Hunter Renfro. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. A man at third with one away. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. A 1 1. Drilled to the right side. Albies brings it in. Throw from shallow right will get him at first, but the run will come in to score. Now back. Race down to their final out now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First pitch of the at bat. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Change up, and he ain't buying it one and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Yeah, he does surrender one run. So it wasn't a flawless performance. But in this game, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be good enough to win. And he was. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Atlanta Braves took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Mike Soroka is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Atlanta Braves. Two runs, nine hits, no error. They left six men on base. For the Braves, one run, four hits, no error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 42 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please Drive home safely. Well, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more games before opening day. I got three new messages. I wonder what they are. That's it for this game. And I will see everybody on the next game. See you later. Thank you for watching. Spread this, uh, spread this spring training with the Braves to other channels, if you would please. See you later. Bye.